I'm more concerned about this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, now I'm <laughs> concerned for the red guy. Oh, we're doing a YouTube video. Yes, we are. This thank you card was posted, uh, was, 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 is, is dated 11-14-2021. It is five days later. So this video is happening very fast. I'm very yes. excited about this hot sauce company. This company, I believe, was on, was had a Kickstarter going, and mm -hmm. the Kickstarter didn't make it to fruition, but they're still selling sauces. Um, anyways. So if it doesn't make it, do they just, like, know it? Like, I don't know, really. Everyone? I don't really know how that works. Okay. But when I learned the story, well... The mission behind this company, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever, and I want to get a video out immediately. So shame on everyone that didn't. Basically, yeah. So I'm Did thinking, you kickstart it? I didn't even know about it until okay. I kick, so, you know. So this is a thank you card. Brian, thank you so much for willing to try my sauces. They're looking forward to what I think, basically. Okay. But, all right, I mean, I, I don't even know what they look like. I don't know what any of the sauces are about. I don't know anything about it. All I know is about, like, the... It's a good presentation. It says, thank you for your order. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Merlins? Merlins? Merlines? Merlins? Oh, Merlines, yeah. Merlin, you know what I'm saying? Merlines? Merlines? I don't know. That word. Uh, is artisanally crafted. Small batch would take pride in our clean, organic ingredients. No gums, no artificial coloring, no sugar. Company's purpose is to positively impact lives through education, entrepreneurship, or model. 100% of profits go to charity. Um, so I love that. And I am interested in trying their sauce. So I... It feels like there's more than three bottles of sauce in here, but okay. we will see. Uh, it's Caribbean inspired. There's like a red, a green, and then there is a um, purple pineapple rum, I believe. Not purple. So there's one of them has rum in it, so I'm kind of excited about that one because it's gonna have some like some roasty, toasty flavors. Bro, wow, there's a box and a box. Okay, there's another thank you. Another thank you card. Hold on. Okay, let's get into this. I've never done like a full on. I don't think I've ever done like a full on unbox. This is awesome presentation. I think it's Merline. There's Merline. There yeah. she is. You, she is a sweet person. She is. She's doing good things. Yes, she is. Okay. I still think there's more than three bottles in here, but... Is this from the Caribbean, or is it Caribbean inspired? Wow, that looks awesome. I want to... I think I want to eat all that. I know. And I don't mean drink. I mean eat. Nothing brings people together like good food. Okay. Well, these are what the sauces look like, and they are beautiful looking. Again, shame on... Me, and you, and everybody that did not kickstart this. I know, I wish I would have known about this. This looks really, really tasty. There's a round deux, let us know. I know, right? Okay, so, Please this is the it. pineapple rum. This is their original medium, this is their verde. And this is their original hot. So, this is number one. I'm saying this is number two, and this is number three. In order of trying? Uh, yeah, I think sure. so. Okay. Uh, green bell peppers is number one ingredient. Vinegar, organic coconut milk. That sounds awesome. Uh, organic apple cider vinegar, organic scotch bonnet peppers. I, I, oh my god, I'm so excited. Organic garlic, lemon zest, pepper, salt. Also, mm. can I have like an immature moment? Sure. You're like, when does that ever stop you? Um, I don't promote wasting food, first and foremost. And I don't, and I'm not promoting like destruction. But if you were to throw those, it would be a very satisfying break. Oh yeah, like a. Like the a, shape of them? Yeah, man. Like a, you had like a white painted wall. That's, get, yeah, like a really thick white painted wall. It'd be a fun way to paint too, like a art piece. But um, I'll shut up now. Smells good. Am I going first? Yeah, load up. It's a it's a thicker full body. I feel like once it gets going though, it's gonna be like bloop. It kind of looks like baby food. Not gonna lie. Oh, uh, I wouldn't quite. Yeah, maybe. I didn't think about baby food until you said that. I thought that immediately. Not, I, not necessarily. It's a bit saying a bit. That's a bad thing. Oh hey. And I'm closer to baby food in my life than you are. Very true. Uh, extremely full body. Well, no. a very full body. Medium sauce. to full. Let's say it's pretty full body. It comes. It's like it doesn't. It didn't really pour. You know, which is not. It's fine. I like my. I just. I have. There's sauces that like after a few uses that you just can't. You have to like get a knife. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. Yeah. It's not you can't get it out of the bottle. <laughs> But um, that's a different, that's not what you're talking about. So. No, I, I love sauce that has a lot of body to it because it sticks mm. to your food. You know, like you top your food. You know, see, that's you're right. All right, I will say So food. it sticks to your food, so that way it's not like falling off on your plate and things like that. Like, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. Cheers. Let's see what happens. Little Caesar. Scotch bonnet's heat. I mean, you could eat it like a soup. That is zingy and kind of hot. It's spicier than I thought it was going to be. It is. Great flavor, great texture, mm -hmm. great heat. Mm -hmm. like, that's fantastic. I can taste it. Like the bell peppers are actually happening on the front end. I would get a carnitas taco and just dump the whole thing in there. This is like, I just picture myself with a burrito in one hand, and I'm just like yeah. adding this to my burrito as yeah. I'm going. Like, awesome. Sprinkled over nachos. Dude, actually, yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Dude, not um, that and queso? You could add this to. to queso. You could add this to guacamole. You could. It'd be you really, really tasty. You could do some really good things with it. Um, 
What's the what's the name of it? Original medium. This is their oh. medium sauce, which I think is. And another thing I really like about the sauce is that Ooh. it's got Scotch bonnets in it, and it actually has Scotch bonnet heat. Like it's not messing mm-hmm. around with the heat. Like it's not a, a a fake version of this pepper. It's it's not like the sort of thing where like oh I'm in trouble. I, I mean maybe if, it, if you actually drink the whole bottle, but it is surprising. It's not. I mean like for people that are not good with heat, this would probably seem more intense. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, okay, heat scale on this. What do you think? It's a three for three. me. Yeah, I was gonna say three. It's a three. All right, moving on. Um, I'm more concerned about this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, now I'm concerned for the red guy, which I, know, I was right? really excited for. Okay. All right, so organic bell peppers. So bell peppers are the number one ingredient in all of these sauces. I wonder if that's like just like the the the, the Caribbean style of this. Like, I don't maybe. think it is. But a nice maybe it's 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 their it's their style. It might help consistency. Yeah, I think so. It's gonna add a little bit of sweetness. All right. Um, grilled pineapple is the number two ingredient. Uh, distilled vinegar, organic coconut milk, organic apple cider vinegar, organic scotch bonnet peppers, rum, organic garlic, organic lemon pepper, yep, organic kosher salt. So, actually yeah. kind of a similar kind of, yeah. like the base, oh my gosh, like the base ingredients. There's a lot of similarities between all these sauces. And this is... It doesn't. Even, that just says media, original medium. This yeah. is going to be more mild, I believe. You think this, so? Yeah, I do. I do. And I. It's got scotch bonnet peppers in here, but there's more ingredients oh in it. Oh gosh! I didn't but I don't know where the scotch bonnet. I don't think this is going to be my jam. Because yeah, because this could be a sweeter thing. But I've yeah. had a lot of it, sauces. It's like liquid pineapple. I've had. Is it smell like liquid pineapple? Uh, FYI, pineapple is like the greatest thing ever. So don't get me wrong. It's just with sauces. He, with when it comes to hot sauce, he generally doesn't like sweeter sauce. Hot sauces. I. Yeah. I do. Um, but I've had a lot of salt, hot sauces where it says where the, I think it's going to be sweet. And it goes way more savory, it's like especially in like this I kind mean, of situation. I'm always open minded, and it leaves me more room to be impressed and enjoy it. I think this is going to be more savory than you think. All, All right. right, cheers. I'm hoping right. the rum comes through. Pizza. Hut. Pretty pineapple. Not as much for being the second ingredient. I get the coconut milk. I get the pineapple. Much more mild. Um, I'm ca- the, I wish I had yeah, more of like a like a caramelized situation coming from the rum, like like brown sugar notes. It's almost creamy. I know. So that's the coconut milk. That's yeah. That. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the coconut yeah. milk has got that creamy situation, um, and the Scotch bonnet peppers also have that like creaminess to them. And then you get a lot of pineapple. A lot of pineapple. Um, it's good though. Yeah, I, I like it. It's not. Um, it's not loud, and I like that. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's like, not. It's not super zippy. Yeah, everything is kind of uh, smooth. Yes, it's very sweet. Yes, like all the flavors. Yes, I completely agree. Um, I'm gonna say and towards s- the end, that's when really the coconut milk comes at the end for me. I get pineapple up front. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say the same heat scale. I'm gonna say it's a three for me. Oh, I would say a two. Two? I mean, yeah. Maybe because my mouth is lit up from that, I can't taste as much heat. It's not lit up, but like I feel like that didn't. I like the heat didn't level didn't change my mouth at all. I'm, I'm feeling the exact same amount. Like, it hasn't raised, it hasn't lowered, it hasn't changed at all. So that's why I'm yeah. giving it a three. I'm contributing that, whatever the heat in my mouth is, to the first one. Okay. Okay, um, this is their original hot. So I wonder what they are using to make it hotter. In Organic fact, bell peppers. To, sorry. I think that that actually mellowed out, the, they calmed the heat in my mouth for that time that it was in my mouth. It brought it up a little bit for me. Huh. I don't know. Maybe you're having, maybe I'm having a, a down a down day. Yeah. I mean, you're smarter than me at this. So organic bell peppers, vinegar, That's organic the, yeah. coconut milk, uh, organic apple cider vinegar, organic red Scotch bonnet peppers, organic garlic, lemon zest, pepper, and salt. So same ingredients, um, just a smaller amount of them. So there's just gonna be more Scotch bonnets in here. Okay. It's got a very interesting aroma. <laughs> okay. What's wrong? I just imagine. Yeah, you want me to say it? You yeah. want me to tell us? Like, cause you're. I was thinking about how, like, how, like, you're, like, over time, your your YouTube channel has probably changed, like, audience wise. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a much more like not like it's not like adult content in any sense, but mm-hmm. it's like you probably have like a, a heavy like adult like it's just when you grow up and get bigger and older and more brainier, you start paying attention to different things. So you probably have a main main adult audience. <laughs> and then I look over and you smelled it. And I just imagined if you were like, you just threw it against the wall and the video cut and everyone would be like, so that's where my brain went there, sorry. This is never coming out. I was gonna say, this is a very thick sauce. I'm going, I'm going, I'm babying it, guys. You can choose to cut that out if you want. That's, but that's what I was thinking. No, that's okay. You talk about throwing sauce on my channel a lot. I know. It's like the main it, topic of conversation. It, dude, it would have been really funny if that's how the video ended. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe uh, maybe April Fool's Day. Not not good for a Marline though. Or Merlin. 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 Um, who is clearly a saint and makes really good sauces. It's, it, it looks like um, it looks like tomato sauce. It does, but I still I'm still very excited for it. Look how much I have made a I made like almost like a pineapple on mine. Look look at the it kind of does no, look like a pineapple. No, especially, especially, especially in that one. It does look like a pineapple. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Let's see what happens. You didn't name a pizza place there. Hmm. That's why you know why you know what I did name. That tastes like pizza sauce. Because that was secret pizza. I didn't say it. Secret pizza. Brought back. Um, bell peppery. That you should make a pizza. Well, honestly, it's pretty hot. It does. It does. Got, it does have some heat. Um, Mixing that into pizza sauce, though, this like, would be a great addition to pizza sauce. Um, it has pizza sauce vibes, but the flavor we're getting is absolutely the the, um, the red bell peppers. I don't know. There's tomato in that, right? No. There's no tomato in that. It's the sweetness from the bell peppers. I'm telling really? you. Really? Yeah. It's the cooked down red bell peppers. Red and orange, probably bell peppers that you, that that is bringing out that sweetness. That's great. Maybe it's because I was just for whatever reason talking about pizza, but like it just genuinely tasted like I took a bite of a really good pizza. Yeah, and the coconut milk helps with like the creaminess to it. Mm-hmm. And there's more sweetness. The dairy. Um, really good. Um, I, I I I'm sticking at a three. Like I don't think this is much. Maybe um, it's not. It's, it's hot. It's hotter than the other sauces, but it's not a, by much. It's a little stabbier of a heat. It's just like, ever it, so slightly. There's just more Scotch bonnets, you know. Okay. So like we're talking habanero style, so it's very stabby. Um, I did a small amount, like of like what, like a fifth of what yeah. you did, and it's it's hot. So I, I'm going to say this is definitely a four. It's definitely it's much hotter, but it's not going to cross me to a four. I'm still staying in the three range. Okay. Um, which one did you like the best? Green for sure. Really? Green was fantastic. This one, man. This one's my jam. I did like it. I mean, I like loved it. And this this. I would put on so many things. This would be a very specific things, and I would look, and I would. It would be an additive in some aspect, or I would like make a thing of pasta, and then I would like do little like mm-hmm. do, do strategic dips sometimes. Sure, yeah. Uh, both of these I would use all day, every day, and will be using them all day, every day. They're good. This has got some pizza vibes. This one is just screaming to be putting on burritos. This one is a very very delicious pineapple sauce. I just I. I'm missing the rum. I just wish that there was like some caramelization, like those dark brown sugar molassesy notes that you normally get with like an aged rum. That's the only thing that I kind of wish was there. But mm. other than that, I love them. I like them all. Yeah. Well, great, yeah, great sauce. The quality is just absolutely at the top. Very, very delicious. Okay. Are they? Do they sell these? Yeah, you can buy them, I believe. Cool. Um, so in the description below, give me a link so that you can check these out. If these are sauces that interest you, so if you like, you know, this style sauce, this Caribbean style. Check them out. Very, very cool company doing really, really cool things. Also, a link to Taco Game Time, our video game channel, uh, is in the description below. Um, I urge you to check it out. We do a lot. We have a lot of fun over there. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next. This was super good. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos uh, from now on. I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to. Oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.